<clears throat> hey y'all I trust everybody's having a good day um, I'm driving home from work wasn't too bad of a day today uh, just a little tired um, now normally I won't talk politics or anything else just because you know we are a free country people are allowed to feel and think what they want to feel and think, or at least I believe that anyway. Um, I just wanted to get some of my feelings out there um, about how I see things. Uh, the pandemic, while very real, now these are all my opinions too. Very real disease, but in my opinion, not as critical as people want you to think it is. I had it, my wife had it, and I was sick, but it wasn't that bad, honestly. <clears throat> I never lost a sense of smell, I never lost a sense of taste, I never felt like I could breathe, I never felt like I was dying, I, if you look at the numbers, the death rate is not much higher than it would have been anyway. I don't know if you've all noticed or not, but since this since, since this thing started, you don't see, <clears throat> you don't hear about people dying from the flu, you don't hear about people dying from heart attack, stroke, uh, suicides have dropped tremendously. Um, well, I, I can't I can't say tremendously. I don't know. I can't back that up with any data, but uh, drug overdoses. Uh, it's a lot of people dying, but nobody dying from the things they used to die from. I can't really explain that other than something ain't right. Whoever's doing the math or whoever's doing the reporting are spelling them all the same way, I guess is one way to put it. Um, and this little shot they're giving out. I'm not trying to tell you don't get it. It may be a good thing. It may, may save your life. It may make you not feel bad. But these these are numbers. I am I am a person that lives and breathes numbers. Numbers do not lie. People say well, numbers lie all the time. No, no, the numbers don't lie. Numbers are going to tell the story. Whoever put the numbers in may be fudging the numbers, but the numbers will be the same. Numbers are only going to allow <clears throat> information to be extracted if they're entered correctly. Um, in this country, if there is a if there's an experimental drug, it takes an average of 15 years. Now not 15 years from inception to testing, an average of 15 years to gain approval by the Food and Drug Administration. Now these, these are numbers that you can look up. This is actual mathematics that you can look up and get concrete proof that you can fact check me if you want to on these. Um, so an average of 15 years to gain approval by the FDA. No, that's that's from from inception to clinicals to human testing, all of that. An average of 15 years. And out of every 5,000, 5,000 drugs that are introduced, only five even make it to the point to where they're allowed to do human testing. And you can 
fact check me on that too. Um, so an average of 15 years and five out of 5,000 make it to human testing. So <clears throat> why would I think, logically think, that multiple pharmaceutical companies came up with a working drug in what about eight months nine months 11 months tops four at least that I know of and with with, with the numbers that I just gave you that doesn't add up I'm sorry like I said I'm not trying to tell you not to take a shot but one way or the other you do you you have that freedom to choose whatever you feel like is best for you <clears throat> but keep this in mind and I'll leave this I'll leave this with with, with this thought I'll leave you with this thought if you go get a polio vaccine you don't get polio. Drive me there. 